I'm Amy Carroll. Thank you so much for spending some of your precious time here with me today. In my devotion this morning, I talked about how we are called to move into Jesus's love, but I have to confess to you something that's true. I hate to move. We've moved several times in our lives into dorm rooms and out of dorm rooms and houses and new apartments and things like that. And it's hard work, isn't it? It requires all that packing and then you take everything out of your house and put it in a truck, move it to a new place, unpack it. It is a lot of work and it takes a lot of strength. Well, the truth is that I approached moving into God's love the same way. I was determined to do it in my own strength. About 10 years ago, I realized that I had gotten to a place where I was numb inside. I, I, even though I was a woman who loved Jesus and have since I was 10 years old, and I was a woman in ministry even at the time, I could not feel Jesus' love at all. A mentor of mine, Ray, said to me when we were getting together one day, Amy, you have got to seek God to experience his love again, like in your first love in those old days. And and I and so I, I did that. And then I came back to her several weeks later and I said, Hey Ray, I've been trying to do what you said. I have been listening to songs about God's love. I have been reading books about God's love. I've been looking up scriptures about God's love. I have been working so hard to understand God's love and I still can't feel it. And she paused and she kind of smiled at me and she said, did you hear yourself? You just said that you've been working to know God's love. Amy, you have to rest in God's love. So that's the little action step that I want to give you today. If you're struggling to feel God's love, to know his love, to experience his love, would you go from strength to surrender? That's how we get to know God's love. We can't muscle through it like moving our stuff from one house to another. We have to surrender. One of my favorite verses recently has been Psalm 1832, and it says, it is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. That's amazing thought, because see, what happens is, is we go from our strength to surrender, and then, you know, we can get back and return God's strength. Isn't that an amazing exchange? These are some spinoff thoughts from my book, Breaking Up With Perfect. If you'd like some more encouraging spinoff thoughts like those, you can go to that little box that says subscribe right next to the, uh, in the sidebar of my blog, put in your email address and you get five days to him perfection, more spinoff thoughts from breaking up with perfect for free. I would love to do that. And if you're interested, we could stay on the journey together through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And those links are right down there. I hope you'll join me on the journey to more joy, more love, and less of our own strength and perfection.